Welcome. In front of me is a Nothing Phone 1 and today I'll show you how you can bypass the Google verification on this phone. So to get started, you want to progress a little bit through the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection page, just so you can connect to Wi-Fi. So actually before I do that, just to show you that I'm connected, I'm going to mention one more thing. You can see that I am uh, or that this device is actually locked, so it tells me to verify the pattern or to verify the Google account. There we go. So you can obviously see that it is locked. So now it's back out and you can see I am connected to Wi-Fi network. That is a requirement. You need to connect to some kind of network. And once you have done so, back out to the first page and from here select this accessibility button. Select TalkBack. Enable it. Now obviously you can hear that it is talking, so I personally want to mute this myself just because it's annoying, uh, but it's completely up to you. If it doesn't bother you, you can leave it as it is. So once you see this page right over here, uh, you want to draw a mirrored L on the screen. It will bring up a window, so double tap the first option and then single tap use voice commands. And before you double tap on it, I'm gonna tell you what's uh, going to happen and what you need to do. So when you double tap on it, uh, it will activate basically something like a uh, assistant that will, that will start listening to you and you want to say uh, open Google Assistant. This will then open the Google Assistant, which again will start listening to you and you want to then say open YouTube. Now each one of these is like uh, separated by a beep, so once this activates, you will have a beep, you want to say open Google Assistant. Then you will have another like auditory sound that it accepted the command. And you will have another one uh, for the Google Assistant where you want to say open uh, YouTube. So I'm going to do that right now and you can just kind of see and hear how I do it. And hopefully that will help you. So anyway. Open Google Assistant. Open YouTube. Now the sec or the third beep actually was like super quiet, so I'm not sure if that the microphone did pick it up, but if it did, great. Uh, if it didn't, I'm just letting you know that there was one. So once YouTube is uh, open up, you want to hold volume up and volume down at the same time. Present. Then select turn on by single tapping and then double tap to confirm. And hold those two keys again, volume up and down. And this will now allow us to use the display normally by disabling TalkBack. So from here, click on this account icon. There we go. Select settings. How about? And then Google privacy policy. Then accept and continue and no thanks. Once it loads up, Going to tap right at the top and type in hard reset that info slash bypass. Now I will write it down myself, and if you need a moment to write it down once you see it, do pause the video. So now would be the time to pause. So once you have navigated to the site, scroll down and you will find settings. Click on it. From settings, you want to select apps, see all 30 apps, tap on the three dots, and then select show system. From here, start off by selecting the Android setup, and choose for stop, confirm it, go back, now you want to scroll down a little bit further down till you get to Google Play Services. So there we go, Google Play Services. Select it, then choose Disable, Disable App, and then for Stop. Okay, then go back till we get to this settings page right here. And you want to scroll down to Accessibility and then choose Accessibility Mini. Enable it. 
allow and okay so we have now and from the settings disabled two different apps as a setup and google play services enabled accessibility menu and once that has been finished we can now back out to the setup of the device so just start spamming the back button until we get to the beginning of the setup now one thing uh, another one that i recommend doing is muting the sound so go just because google play services are disabled and this will start spamming this like beeping noise that you just heard because it cannot connect to the service so muting it is the easiest way to not be aggravated by it anyway from here we're just going to progress through the setup the same way we did before okay so we should be stuck at this page right over here now this is uh just a literally a single step away from the page where it tells us to verify our pattern pin password and google account so that's completely fine that it's doing that as you can see checking for update just a second and it just can't get any further that is what we're looking for and from here we will need to do a couple things so you're going to tap on the accessibility menu you will then select assistant then choose settings which did nothing this time around so let's do it again again You get the point you keep on repeating this once the settings uh, button actually functions it will open up the google uh, privacy or not privacy the google google services page where you want to select enable now one little tip i think the faster you try to like spam these buttons the quicker uh, this will actually work so you might need to repeat this less amount of times but it might be just a placebo effect so anyway, I'm going to try to do it right now. Uh -oh. So you just seen the page. There we go. As you can see, it took me like 20 to 30 tries to get it. But uh, once you enable it, it will stay open. So press the back arrow once. And as you can see, this allows me to finish up the setup. So select next, accept. And it completely skips the verification portion of the device. So right now you can select whichever search engine you want. It doesn't really matter. You can even select Yahoo or Microsoft Bing. Because we will need to reboot it or restart the device anyway. And screen lock. I don't recommend setting anything up. I would also deselect uh, the apps just to in increase the speed at which we can do this. Select agree. Next. And... And there we go. So we are now on the home screen. Now I'll mention the process is still not finished. So next thing we need to do is navigate into the settings right over here and scroll down to system, reset options, erase all data, erase all data. And do press on that once again. Now I'm not gonna go over this on the video uh, just because it will waste your time and that's the only reason to be honest. It is a fully automated process which re factory restores the device and will bring you back to the beginning of the setup of the device uh, but the device will be fully unlocked at that point so you can set it up however you want. And I'm pretty sure you know how to go to the setup so that's why I don't really want to go over this on the camera. But anyway once you do so this will begin and virtually finish up the bypass of this uh, the Google protection. So that is basically how we can do it. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.